Hello everybody and welcome to Black Desert Online. Uh, in this video we're going to go over how to create beer uh, to feed your workers. Uh, so we're going to have a little bit of a kind of overview of a lot of different types of things in here. Uh, but anything that you wish for more information on let me know. Uh, I am going to try and do kind of overarching videos on all of the different aspects of the game. Uh, but for this one we are going to be concentrating on the creation of beer. Uh, this is great for A, feeding your workers, B, leveling up your cooking skill. Um, and it's just kind of quite easy to do and something that everybody can kind of do quite early in the game. Um, I had a few issues recording this, I don't know why, so some of this may not be quite as good as I would like to, but it should be pretty complete anyway. So first things first, you're going to want at least four contribution points. Uh, and I would say five is probably a bit more comfortable. Uh, I'll show you why right now. Um, so uh, basically what we're going to need to do. Uh, well, actually, you don't actually need to do this. But if you need to feed your workers, this is why you're going to need to do it anyway. So uh, first up, you're going to want to... Um, activate one of these nodes now to do this you just simply go and visit it uh the guy in the middle there he is going to be he or she is going to be the person you speak to you talk to them uh, invest two contribution in the farm uh, and then you'll need to invest a further two in the actual potato farm which is why we need four contribution points at minimum and i recommend a fifth one just so you can kind of have a residence in here in fact you are, are actually going to need that to do the cooking that we're going to do um so uh, with all that done, the reason you're going to do that uh, is because you're going to need potatoes. Um, now, you can use any kind of starchy type uh, vegetables. You can use like corn, sweet potatoes and other stuff. Uh, but I find with its close proximity to uh, Velia, which is very, very early in the game, uh, we have three nodes here and all three of those are actually gathering potatoes for me right now. So if I click on here, you'll actually see uh, I have potatoes building up in my warehouse as well. Um, now, the next things that you're going to need are very, very easy to get. Potatoes are the hardest thing to get out of everything here. So with how easy you've just seen that was, uh, this is all simply purchased from a vendor. Now, we're going to go and speak to this vendor now. Um, just because then everything kind of goes in order for me. So uh, we're going to do acquisition first. So over in this inn we have here um, the... I should probably about this. We have the actual vendor here. Uh, and in here you're going to find your sugar, your mineral water, and your leavening agent. I'm going to come out of here because it's quite noisy in here, just so you guys can hear properly. Um, so uh, looking back in the inventory here, for one beer... You're going to require five potatoes. So we've got enough stuff here to create six. Um, so you'd, you'd need five potatoes, one sugar, two leavening agents, and six mineral water. So um, we have we obviously have enough here to create six beer. Down below, uh, these are the byproducts you're going to get for creating beer as well. So you can use these for various different things. Uh, it all shows you on the tooltip, so none of it's kind of hidden or anything. So this we can actually turn in for even more beer uh, in Heidel, which is a the next city that you'll end up going to. So doing this early is actually probably going to be pretty good for you. Um, you can get some extra silver as well, uh, as well as cooking experience, uh, some milk, which is kind of handy, and... Um, um, some other stuff. So that's kind of cool. Now, next up, let's take a look at acquiring a worker, just so that you know how to um, how to get a worker, so that you can actually send them over there. So next up, we have the actual um, hire a dude. Uh, although, kind of more <laughs> work supervisor is more of a slavery. He basically sells you people. Now, I can't actually contract workers right now because I don't have the energy. You require five energy to view uh, and unfortunately kind of I used that in my previous attempt to record in this uh, but essentially you'll view the worker um, and you'll get like a choice of different workers so we'll take a look at those um, so on your map screen in the bottom right hand corner here you have your list of workers uh, obviously I've got one that's idle a couple that are idle at the minute so we're going to send some of those out to work now um, so down here uh, this farm is available for me to work on uh, now I've decided, uh, this is kind of a retrospective thing, that I prefer 
uh, to use a giant just because they require less micromanagement. Goblins are faster, uh, and so if you're on a lot, these are going to be best. Uh, but if you like me, you don't have tons of time. The giant worker is going to be best. Uh, so here, uh, I can send him to start working now, but he'll only go one time. So I recommend changing this. Now he can go 25 times. That's his stamina. So I'm going to go on here. We're going to change this to 25. Uh, and he is going to go ahead and farm me a load of potatoes. Now let's go back onto this work list here. Uh, ooh, well, I can't see anybody. Town. Hey, why isn't that working? Come here. Let's go back onto our worker list. Now, as you can see, each of these has uh, like a yellow bar, and that is representation of their stamina. And the beer that we are creating now is what we're going to use to restore that stamina. Okay. Uh, and. Damn it, I forgot to show something. So let's just go back over this way. Back at the vendor inside of here, you're also going to need to buy the cooking utensil. It's the top left thing, you can't miss it. Um, that's entirely my fault, guys. But you'll see what that is in here. So, this is our residence. Oh, what's happening here? That's what I want. Enter. Why isn't it entering? Oh, let me... Uh, what? That's weird. Why? Why is it doing that? What? No. Storage? Wait, something's gone wrong here. <laughs> Where's my house? Where's my house? Right, give me a second, guys. Okay then, guys. So, carrying on. I clearly must have gotten mixed up. Uh, my house is actually around the corner. <laughs> um, I mean, it's been a while since I've been here, but I was pretty sure that was where I lived. Uh, mainly so they could have it all together like that. Because uh, I do like things to be to be fairly together. But I imagine there's probably some storage region as to why I put that up there. Uh, so where is it? My, the entrance to my house is right here. Uh, it's actually pretty good because you're going to be able to see me uh, place my cooking utensil. So we are going to go ahead into place mode. Uh, and here is our cooking utensil. So we can just put that wherever we want, essentially. I'm just going to put it against this back wall. Um, oh, come on. Give me the... Come here. There we go. Why is it? Right, right. Come on. Let's put it in the middle of the room. There we go. Uh, confirm. There we go. Space bar. Cool. So we exit out of here. And here we have our little cooking station uh, where we can get busy in the kitchen. So, uh, when cooking, you want to put in the amount um, that you require for one beer. And then we essentially press continuous production, and that's going to do it for us. So, we need to put in um, five potatoes. We need to put in one sugar. We need to put in two leavening agents. And six mineral water. There we go. Uh, and then we go on to continuous production. Here we go. Like this. Does it work? Ah, here we go. Here we go. Max. Yeah, <laughs> forgot about this little screen thing. I wonder what's happening there. Uh, and so, as you'll see here, uh, we'll start to we'll start acquiring beer, uh, and that is going to be used to feed our workforce. This is obviously also going to increase our cooking. Uh, we're going to go. I'm going to go over cooking uh, in another episode. We've got uh, there is a huge reason to be doing it, but we'll go over that in a separate one. Um, so we're going to keep this going. Obviously, not really much else for us to be doing on the map. Obviously, from here you can start managing stuff whilst you're doing this, uh, or in fact, go make yourself a cup of tea, which is what I would do. Um, we're just going to wait for all of these to finish. There we go, bit more cooking, we're getting all these extra things appearing as well. I can't wait till these and get like the extra 50 beer out of that. We seem to have got an extra one there as well. Look, sometimes you get lucky and you get an extra, which is cool. Like their look, we've got seven there. Uh, and I don't know if that's more often as you get higher level. Hopefully it is, because that'd be really good. Yeah, we've got two quite a few times there, that's excellent. Um, and so, with that... Beer is complete. We actually got nine instead of six. That was uh, pretty damn handy. Uh, so looking at beer, uh, ooh, uh, we've got nine now. Uh, and each one of those will recover two stamina on one of our workers. So that's 18 stamina that we've got. Uh, 
uh, plus obviously um, the amount that we already have in storage so we've got quite a bit uh, now if you do find you're having a surplus you can sell it as you can see uh, and, th and this is kind of handy you can see over on this side here which is difficult for me to kind of <laughs> uh, curse over uh, but the minimum you can sell that for is 1300 silver so you can get you can put a lot of this uh, onto the marketplace and expect to get a decent profit as well which is which is pretty cool uh, and that is everything on beer we've got we've gone through uh, ingredients how to get the ingredients the utensil what we need uh, contribution points and everything else so that's all cool uh, if you enjoyed this video guys please feel free to subscribe uh, and come visit me on some of the streams uh, I really really appreciate to you know get to know everybody uh, <laughs> I hope that didn't sound too creepy in any case uh, I'll catch you in the next one guys have a good one